It just disappears. Got it. Oh. Here we go. Uh, what do you, what tools do you need? New Phillips. It's new Phillips. Okay. Get out of there. But then you gotta keep track of up and down. So if you haven't, they're then, already marked. Oh, okay, nice. I was like, just add like just push them all the, forward, click them all forward. That way you know when they go back in. Yeah, it's happening. I should do it this way. Oh god. There she is. So to make this easier, should I go ahead and pop these guys out? Covered in hot glue. Okay, so um, the trick to hot glue is you just soak the son of a gun in alcohol and it just releases. Really? Yep. And then, of course, it doesn't inherit the electronics. Because it's alcohol. Because it just evaporates. So I usually just get a uh, rag soaking wet and then just like dab it, and then you can even pour a little bit on and just like clean it up with that. Fair enough. That is the sound that Krabby makes from Pokemon. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Where are they? We're there. Yeah, where you go? Mm -hmm. And James just ate that chunk of hot <laughs> glue. So now it's basically... Glue that melts people. <laughs> just <laughs> dissolve an entire person. <laughs> Breaking Bad, actually. Oh, I saw that scene. Yeah, they filled the bathtub up with that glue. Yeah. That's... Use my little standoff. That's not a stand. That is an extremely long pin. That's a standoff. That. That's a pin. It's a pin for a standoff. Yeah. It's a standoff pin. How much do I use? Uh, just a little dollop. Oh, Daisy. Once it heats up, it'll kind of flow. And yeah. That's the whole point of it. Like I would literally just kind of like start on the, the bigger side. The like the ground, on? the ground, and then uh, once that heats up, you kind of just drag the tip to the... Is the ground the coax? Yes, yeah, so the outside, no. the sheath of the or, coax. Or, or the, the sh yeah. The sheath, heat that up so that it melts, and then drag your tip to the active end, and then it should just pump, pop off. Ooh. You got this. <laughs> it's also going to be hot. Okay. So what's the uh, show, this the stock one in your right hand? Yes. Stock one and then the aftermarket ones in your left hand. Correct. But they basically are the same antenna. Like you just desolder and resolder the exact same joint. I mean, this doesn't have an SMA. In right, but the area. coax, the way it solders into the board is the exact same. Yeah. It goes in on the top and it's basically keyed to just drop in like that. Yeah. You dig. That's pretty, that's pretty clean. That's not too bad. Where's your solder? How are you soldering without solder, you madman? I just use the bones of my enemies. Oh. Wow, fee five fo phone. Sorry. I get that joke all the time. <laughs> it's like Is it because Go away, you're a monster. What do you mean? You make bones out of bread bones in the bread whatever. They're typically a lot better with their words <laughs> than I am when I'm mocking them. Your lizard's touching me. Oh my god, it flows forever. I didn't expect that, actually. Because it's built up. You can't put a whole lot there. There's the very active, the very tip, which is the active end. Then there's the, you know, the sheathing between that and the actual woven. The ground. Braid, the ground, yeah. Uh, but the ground, we need to pull it aside and turn it into like a little bundle that we would then solder to the pad itself. So the way I would do this is I would take this end 
the way it is set up right now. Mm -hmm. And just add, plop a, it on the add a little bit of solder to it to make the, the solder blob on this. And then this is so thin, you don't really need to add anything to it. Yeah. Solder this into the rectangles. And then that way it's laying on top of the center trace. And then just heat that up and it should just go right into the this center. This is the tiniest solder job I've ever done. <laughs> It's yeah. also like the most important because if you do this one wrong, if, you toast your transmitter. You, no, 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 no. Worst case scenario, you this get it on there, you don't like it. We can go back, we can completely wipe it clean. We can pull everything off, we can resolder it. So, right, but I mean, like, if it's done wrong and I don't realize it's done wrong. If it's done wrong, I will tell you. Sure. I'm not going to let you toast the transmitter. Yeah. So you're good. Because I'm actually curious if they sell this entire nope. board or nope. just this board? Trust me, I did a lot of digging. They only sell the big board. That's what I figured. Yeah, you can't, you can't get the small board. <laughs> There's just not much of distance between the two. Right. So, I w yeah, you just gotta be careful to um, not bridge the active. Well, it's... Down. It's attached, but it's like nowhere, the active end itself is nowhere near. Yeah, so you might pull everything back towards the top of the transmitter to head. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you might... oh. It's on there. This is gonna be hot. So, instead of bending the active end, I would try your hardest to get, if, keep these, it straight. Are, if these are the, if the two pads, right, keep everything parallel so the wire's not running at an angle into the pads, but the wire's running straight in parallel with all the pads. I know that's hard because the wire is fighting you to try to bend that direction. So the pad is down here, mm -hmm. and then the coax cable is here. Right. There's a, a joint, a disconnect, a discontinuity. Oh, is it actually not? I, it's probably good, but I would say that might be a cold solder. Okay. So I would just put a blob of solder on the tip, and then mm, just kind of come in, come in here and just kind of reflow all this to make it all kind of one continuous solder joint. That looks better. A little better, at least. Oh, that's way better. It looks great. So now we just gotta throw a ton of hot glue on that. <laughs> would you like the honors? Oh, I would love the honors. I'm sure you would. Oh, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> it's Meanwhile, you're like, there's hot glue on my workbench. Get it off. <laughs> this is my real concern right now. You know what? <laughs> I'll solder the bench back together. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Well, I'm really put my skills to the test today. You're just gonna waste my solder. No, this what? was that one time he soldered, soldered to solder. I'm actually really curious. I kind of want to try this now. Damn it! It just disappears. It's right, hold on, let me try. Let me try. Give your hot glue to heat it. It just disappears. Got it. Oh. See, I told you I could do it. Well, hot dang. Hot dang. You Who dang. knew that you could solder, solder to solder? Well, I mean, let's be realistic. What kind of joint are we working with? Hey, hey, hey. You know what? That's not, not bad. bad. <laughs> Meanwhile, the real project. It's all you, man. You gonna let me do this? I'll let you do it. All right. It's your favorite. I, love I wouldn't rob you of your favorite tool on the planet. Hot glue is the best. I don't know about favorite. One tool. of these days, we're gonna pop the hood on your Subaru, and I'm gonna be shocked. All right, so. Hot glue is cool, and then we tried to test to see how well it held to the uh, actual cable, and it doesn't hold well at all. Nope. Well, I was gonna get a drink on in here. Go, 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 go. Oh wow, that works really well. Holy cow, that's amazing. Oh, that's pretty slick. Just gotta pour the rest of this <laughs> alcohol out. Glug, glug, glug. For my bench homies. I don't think I've ever actually poured one out for anybody. <laughs> but at work, whenever I turn a server off for good, I always type in a little message. I got it from a coworker. First time I saw him do it, he typed in good night, sweet prince. <laughs> so I typed in pour one out for Harambe. It was topical at the time. What other options do we have? 
Did you bring apart from printing a different? Did you bring your wand? My wand. Yes. Magic wand. You're a wizard, Larry. Larry, you're a wizard, Larry. Wow. Huh. He's not the most approachable of uh, wizards. That's that's quite the assumption, you know. That's that that really puts all Larrys in a category of probably not approachable. So I'm gonna retract that statement. Yeah. What do you think? Is that goes in like this? And that piece doesn't come out, and you tighten the nut down to it, then it can't go anywhere. But that piece has to essentially be. It has to be hard mounted to the, the chassis. Glue. I've got super glue. That's fine. I know that there is an ideal length that you want to cut it because it's supposed to be. You take the wavelength of the. You know, frequency so whatever, and then you take like either a quarter wave or like an eighth wave or something. But that's for the active end of the true So I've, I've heard both people argue, and the thing is, on the internet, everyone's an expert. And if you put that on here, like that's a very different link. Yeah. And so like it's. I'm not saying it's mute. I'm just saying I don't understand mute, mute, mute. the mute point. It's I just don't understand enough to like definitively say, oh yeah, you gotta you know measure out the length specifically mm -hmm. for this application and blah blah. All I know is that I put this in, just about this exact same length in mine, Duranus, and I've been using that for a couple of years now and I've had no issues at all. Right. But I'm sure this will also work. I just like you said, some people have had issues. I don't know if that's because like they saw it or did wrong. Like you know, people have issues because they try to do something that they don't do. Yeah. The, proper install or something goes on so right. or they have like you know, three feet of this like bundled up in here because they didn't want to because they didn't want to cut it. it yeah so i i think it's probably fine so we kind of jumped ahead on this one and installed everything put it all back together but this is everything finished and finalized and what we have at the end of the day is no more stock Tyrannus antenna and we now have a five decibel mod that we can thread on and thread off um, one important thing to know also is that uh, before you power on your transmitter that you want to make sure and always have a antenna and antenna threaded in so that it doesn't burn out the board. Um, I don't think I honestly I've done it to my Tyrannus a few times on accident and usually there's a warning on the screen that says hey your antenna is not plugged in um, and I think it notices that before it sends power to the transmitter. I know that video probably made it look more complicated than it actually is, but that's a fairly simple thing that if you feel comfortable soldering, you can knock out. Honestly, I think we spent more time figuring out how to get this antenna mount glued in than anything else. So just knowing that when you move forward with your project, it'll probably make it go that much quicker. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something, and I will see you next time. Right?